Hello everybody, in this video I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $99,878.18. In the past year I am up $42,861.77. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $12,000. $682.72 Today was a green day for me. I gained $2,252.02 during the day and then after hours I am up $174.39. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return $858. I'm selling Disney $120 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return $36. I'm selling Robinhood $16 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return $56. I'm selling LUV $30 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return $555. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return $282. I'm selling SoFi $9 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return, I am down $241.80. I'm selling Verizon, $39 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return, I am down $56. I'm selling Google, $180 covered calls. These expire. July 19, my total return, $204. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $186.99. My average cost, $98.95. Total return, $26,415.38. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.49. My average cost, $5.62. Total return, $11,200.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $105.39. My average cost, $60. Total return, $13,617. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $18.05. My average cost, $17.53. Total return, $526.40. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $170.22. My average cost, $142.48. Total return, $2,774. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $28.11. My average cost, $28.03. Total return, $40. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $64.53. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $1,366. I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $40.59. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, $256.10. I 
This is a margin account. My margin total is $110,583.47. My margin used is $97,584.45, which leaves me with $12,999.02 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $49,000. $634.98. That's this green buffer right here before I hit my margin call. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. It used to be 8%. However, that just changed. The daily interest that I'm paying is $21.51. And if we look at here, it says $2,000 interest free. Margin interest, this is calculated daily on your settled individual cash balance at the end of the trading day at a rate of 6.55% divided by 360. Interest is accumulated daily and will charge your individual account every 30 days at the end of your billing cycle. The displayed amount is your interest accrued on the previous day. With Robinhood Gold, your first $1,000 of margin is interest free. So this changed recently. I think if you look at my previous portfolio updates, you'll see that the rate was 8%. However, it just got lowered to 6.55%. That's a pretty big difference. If you look at my portfolio value, $100,000, even just 1% difference makes a big deal. So I'm really happy that the interest rate just got lowered to 6.55%. Now I no longer have to pay 8% interest. 8% interest was pretty high. That's a pretty big cost to borrow money. But now it's cheaper for me to borrow money. And it says right here that $2,000 is interest free. So I'm very happy about that also. Nothing really changed in my portfolio today. I didn't do anything different. I guess the only major difference is that the interest rate for Robinhood got lowered and now I don't have to pay as much in interest anymore. Let's look at what GME is doing because that's the big news that's come out recently. Right now GameStop is at $52.24 which is pretty high. If we compare that to where it's been in the past year, it's up 152%. So that's quite a big jump in the past week. In the past week alone, it's up 225%. Now, me personally, I have looked into the puts because I think it's going to go back down again. However, the puts are so expensive that it's not even worth it for me to make a bearish play. For example, if we look at the options on October 18th expiration date, if I buy a put, look at this. To break even, it would need to go down 48%, which is quite a large drop. So for me personally, the way that I look at it is that I do believe that the share price will eventually go back down again. However, I'm not willing to buy puts on this because the price would have to go down by so much in order for me just to break even. So I'm going to leave that alone for now. But yeah, GameStop is still over. $50 per share and it's been going up a lot this week. I'm going to stay on the sidelines for now. I've been doing well with my portfolio the way that I've been handling it. So I don't feel like I really need to take that risk right now. Anyways, I'm very, very close to being above a hundred thousand again. So I'm going to be waiting for that in the next couple of weeks. But for now, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be making more portfolio updates. So if you guys would like to see more, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.